Hey there, it's uh, obviously early morning and already the questions are flooding in. So I thought I'd do take the opportunity to do a couple of videos. Uh, the first one being about uh, soy milk. Now, the, the normally one of the first choices anyone will make, particularly females will make when they're sort of having tea or coffee or going out for sort of a coffee morning with the girls or whatever, is to make the choice of soy milk or soy your milk over and above uh, the standard lattes and uh, cappuccinos and things um, to have in coffee etc. Um, now there's a problem with that and the problem is is that it's quite estrogenic. Now for a female that's not a good thing because the environment is absolutely loaded with xenoestrogens from things like our shower gels to um, perfumes, aftershaves, uh, chemicals that we use around the home, in the sofas like fire retardants, um, just basically out and about our environment is tarnished with xenoestrogens and what these are is sort of man-made estrogenic compounds that will bind to your own estrogen receptors thereby elevating your overall estrogen levels within your body. Now what implications does that have? Well firstly um, it can cause disease, um, particularly things like cancer because obviously too much estrogen is, is not a good thing, but also it can actually increase the amount of um, Basically, the amount of it, uh, an elevated amount of estrogen within the body can increase uh, fat storage in the lower half of the body. Um, and again, that's not a good thing because th the reason it does that is that higher estrogen levels that means that you become more feminine, which means that you tend to store fat in, more in the feminine areas. And obviously, hips, bums, and thighs is not a place that you want to be storing fat. So, for that reason, and also the fact that most of the um, sort of soy in the world is GM or GMO crop, that makes it even worse because it's grown in such a way that it will withstand all of the extreme pesticides um, that are available. So, in effect, uh, the answer is don't do it. Um, and your better choice would be something like almond milk, okay? So soy, not good for fat storage, not good for increasing your overall estrogen levels, and also because it's GMO, all right? And, well, most of it is GMO, so it's just not a good choice. What do I do? I use almond milk, particularly this brand, which is Alpro, Alpro almond milk, okay? It's unsweetened. And if I have a cup of tea, um, organic for that matter, I'll, I'll use some of that stuff there, which is really, really good. Um, it's, it tastes great in tea, doesn't taste too much of almonds or, or, it, or anything like that. Um, but in coffee, I, have, I tend to have that black, um, as long as it's a good, a good organic coffee. And again, coffee is quite one of the hi most highly sprayed products in the world. So tea and coffee, go organic. And if you need something in there, go with that one. Um, if I sometimes want to make sort of a, uh, want to treat myself to a latte or something, what I will do is you can get these milk frothers and coconut milk tends to work quite well in milk frothers. All right, but um, limit the amount that you have and go with Alpro. I'm not sponsored by them, by the way. Alpro almond milk is a great alternative um, and it's not insulinogenic either. All right, so try that one and I'll see you in another video.